For twere done when tis done, and twere well it were done quickly. If the assassination could trammel up the consequence and catch with his surcease success, but that this blow might be the be-all and end-all here, but here upon this bank and shoal of time, we jump the life to come. But in these cases, we still have judgment here, that we but teach bloody instructions which being taught return to plague the inventor. This even-handed justice commends the ingredients of our poisoned chalice to our own lips. He's here in double trust. First, as I am his kinsman and his subject, strong both against the deed. Then, as his host, who should against his murderer shut the door, not bear the knife myself. Besides, this Duncan has borne his faculty so meek, has been so clear in his great office, that his virtues will plead like angels, trumpet-tongued against the deep damnation of his taking off, and pity like a naked newborn babe striding the blast, or heaven's cherubims horsed upon the sightless couriers of the air shall blow the horrid deed in every eye that tears shall drown the wind. I have no spur to prick the sides of my intent, but only vaulting ambition, which o'erleaps itself and falls on the other... My lord! How now with news? He has almost supped! Why have you left the chamber? Has he asked for me? Know you not he has? We will proceed no farther in this business. He has honored me of late, and I have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people which would be worn now in their newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Was the hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Has it slept since, and wakes it now to look so green and pale at what it did so freely? From this time such I account your love. Are you afeard to be the same in your own act and valor as you are in desire? Would you have that which you esteem the ornament of life, and live a coward in your own esteem? Letting I dare not wait upon I would, like the poor cat in the adage. Pray you peace. I dare do all that may become a man. Who dares do more is none. Oh, what beast was it then that made you break this enterprise to me? When you dared do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more the man. No time, nor place would then adhere, and yet you would make both. They'd have made themselves, and that their fitness now does unmake you. I have given suck, and know how tender it is to love the babe that milks me. I would, while it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from his boneless gums and dashed the brains out, had I so sworn as you have done to this. If we should fail... We fail? But screw your courage to the sticking place, and we'll not fail. When Duncan is asleep, where to the rather shall his day's hard journey soundly invite him, his two chamberlains will I with wine and wassail so convince that memory, the warder of the brain, shall be a fume, and the receipt of reason a limbeck only, when in swinish sleep their drenched natures lie as in a death. What cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? What not put upon his spongy officers who shall bear the guilt of our great quell? Bring forth men children only, for your undaunted metal should compose nothing but males. Will it not be received when we have marked with blood those sleepy two of his own chamber and used their very daggers that they had done it? Who dares receive it other? <laughs> 